Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Quick general love reading for you, my friends. Whenever you watch this, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, we are going for a smaller Celtic cross for this one. It is not science uh, specific. So let's find out together what's coming through for you in the love arena. Let's see what we can get for you guys. We get lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. Ascending, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. The golden mirror, self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. Bottom of the deck. We have passion, insane chemistry, like each other equally, having fun. Let's also pull from this oracle deck. Listen to your intuition, wanted to come out bottom of the deck, be assertive, kinda interesting, especially considering the golden mirror guys, which is an energy that for me always asks for a certain level of attention. Let's see what the tarot has to say about these energies. And we are ready. So, current situation, the magician. Challenge, queen of cups. Crowning energy, five of cups. Core of the situation, Ace of Wands, Passion, Past Energies, The Moon, Future Energies, Possible Outcome, The Eight Priestess, Listen to Your Intuition, Focus, The Devil, Bottom of the Deck, Two of Pentacles, A Juggling Act, guys, An Evaluation About a Connection, That is Ongoing, There Can Be a Lot of Passion, Ace of Wands, Focus on the Devil, Passion Oracle Card, there is a choice of words that is coming to my mind and it is about love at first sight going with the lightning but also be careful about what you wish for and it seems that a connection can be truly on fire when it comes to the physical side of it but the challenge is on the emotional factors emotional maturity emotional stability feelings um, the willingness to be vulnerable with a partner and the moon in the past and the high priestess in the future positions um, truly call for a lot of attention because the moon is an energy about the unknown it can be a facade it can be an illusion this five of cups is an energy about disappointments regrets, sadness, what can be deserving of attention considering the five of cups is the three of cups influence and the fact that the two of cups can be an energy that resonates with the challenge. Can we bring feelings, emotions and love 
within a connection that is extremely passionate, yes, but maybe is also offering a cycle that can bring rough waters with it. The magician, guys, it can be the decision to take action about a situation. It can also be an energy that paired up with the devil is not the best one because it can be about someone that thinks that they can do whatever they want in order to achieve a particular goal. And I am looking at the keywords self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, even love bombing can be a factor, to be honest, because the Ace of Wands, the Devil, um, well, it's kind of obvious. So, let's find out more. Be assertive, extremely important uh, advice. Magician. Two cards. Judgment. And the King of Swords, which I kind of love because in order to take action, we need to have a clear mind and a clear mind can be something that we can achieve thanks to the judgment when it comes to a huge level of clarity, a divine truth, as I usually say, offered to those that are open to receive it. So a connection truly needs to be evaluated at the 100% because if it is just a matter of passion, desire, uh, physical, uh, physical aspects, basically, uh, there can be a risk that maybe is hidden, but it's here, Seven of Swords, bottom of the Two of Pentacles. For others, guys, the judgment can be about a second chance. And if that's the case, if you resonate, the Five of Cups is something that you have already experienced um, within the connection, basically. And so, if that's the case, the devil becomes even more a cycle. And considering the Two of Pentacles, we need to break the loop. Queen of Cups in the challenge, Queen of Wands, passion, passion is real, insane chemistry, like each other equally, we can say that, having fun, having fun, well, the other person can play the card of having fun with you, but at some point, at some point, we need to understand what we are doing in a situation like this one. And I would like also to say that the Queen of Wands can be an energy that um, is an encouragement in your favor, guys, when it comes to display a healthy self-confidence, like the Queen of Wands can do, because she can be extremely uh, magnetic, attractive, yes, but she can recognize if a situation is deserving of her time and her attention. And some of you will have to evaluate also the emotional side of the connection. Five of Cups, Ten of Wands. We are coming at the moment of truth, or we are coming to the moment of truth. Uh, completion, extremely demanding, challenging, overwhelming, but this is a responsible man that is taking care of tasks and duties that are part of his journey. He cannot avoid the stage of the adventure. And so, despite the passion, the connection can be challenging and there is an evaluation about the situation. For others, if it is a second chance, you know that these appointments were uh, involved in the connection with this person asking to try again and basically you cannot overlook those uh, factors.
because they are part of an experience that was not exactly uh, pleasant. Let's see the Ace of Wands, core of the situation, this spark that can be about passion and desire for sure. Two cards. We get the Ten of Pentacles, which is interesting, and the Nine of Wands. So the Ten of Pentacles can be the higher goal, guys, building for the future, but is it possible to build for the future if this is a, a relatively new connection that is mainly driven by passion, desire, sexuality, attraction? This is a big question. And defenses can be brought up for protection if we realize that this is just just a connection uh, built on on the desire to be uh, physically together basically for others the ten of pentacles um, can be about even a commitment that didn't work it was a source of disappointments and well a former lover is asking for a new chance Let's see the moon in the past, an energy about the unknown, a facade, a veil of illusion. It can be about a fear factor or something that uh, cannot make us comfortable. But we need to be brave and we need to dive deeper within the moon because it is the type of inner process that can allow us to uh, discover something that can be important. It's kind of like looking... Um, at the spot that we would prefer to avoid. Eight of Swords, Prison of the Mind. If this is a second chance, guys, the connection uh, didn't work. It was not fulfilling. It was truly something that felt like a prison. The lady feels stuck. Uh, maybe lacking freedom even. Well, considering the devil, that can be a narrow-minded uh, vision about a love connection. Uh, this is a meaningful energy. Feeling stuck. Um, you cannot do this. You cannot do that. And it was something that maybe was kept secret when the two of you were together in public, for example. But in private... Uh, your person was completely the opposite, basically. Extremely restrictive, controlling, even obsessive. And for those of you guys that are evaluating a new connection, let's say, so there is no history, uh, still, the connection, the connection was built in a way that uh, couldn't give in your favor a feeling that was a pleasure. And this is absolutely an intuitively guided decision. It's kind of like if passion runs, runs out, basically, uh, we are left with nothing. And this is the, the feeling stuck of the lady. That's why she can break free by going with the water, feelings and emotions. That's why the challenge is on the Queen of Cups. Let's see the A Priestess, guys, because the A Priestess is an energy that can even be about uh, silence, uh, silent treatment, and communication uh, cut in some sense, or kept in an extremely essential way. Two cards. We get the lovers, the other side of the coin, if we think about the devil. This is a heart overhead decision, especially for those of you that uh, are dealing with a former lover. And the Eight of Pentacles. This is about a mindset, guys, working for a goal, dedication, determination, and attention to the details. I think that this is the most important uh, aspect because this man knows what it takes to bring to life pentacles that can be the source for his satisfaction and he knows that every little detail matters 
every little detail matters in this situation. The golden mirror, there is something that is different from how it seems. Um, King of Cups, bottom of the smaller deck. This is an energy about emotional maturity, we can say that. This can be what you are looking for in a partner. This is also an energy that struggles for me sometimes with the communication part when it comes to feelings and emotions because they are extremely deep under the surface. And so an effort is necessary in order to bring them up so that they can be shared and understood by a special person. This can be the final test about this connection because if this is a reconciliation, the question can be, is your former partner asking for a second chance able to bring what was missing in the connection before when it comes to feelings, emotions and emotional maturity? And that's why the crossroads. For others, considering the new connection, um, the question can be, is this just a deal about passion? Where is the love? Also quoting an old song from the early 2000s. Where is the love? If there is, also, if the, if there is only desire, um, passion, attraction, uh, where is the love? So, guys, some more oracle cards for guidance, considering these energies. Here we go, four cards. We get, come to the edge. This is a brave decision coming from the lady, the fairy lady. She is taking a chance. Maybe the other person is asking uh, to you guys to take a chance. It depends. Time for an up. Sleeping on it. Well, it can be helpful sometimes. But it is also an energy that should be the opportunity to evaluate carefully a situation. Look, all that glitters, well, no wonder, no surprise. All that glitters is not gold, a facade. Something that is different from how it seems. Uh, an encouragement to pay a lot of attention. Someone that is wearing a mask. Intentions that maybe are not exactly sincere. Uh, things left unsaid, all these factors, guys, and thinker, which makes sense considering the, the evaluation that is due. Listen to your intuition, be assertive, high priestess, bottom of the deck, loyal heart. That can be about um, loyalty, trust, um, the willingness to, to work with each other in a partnership. And this can be one of the factors that you give um, importance to and you are looking for it. But if this is just a, just a matter of let's be together and let's forget about everything else, well, maybe, maybe thanks but no thanks, it seems, according to these energies. Because after all, the cycle within the devil uh, deserves a lot of attention, guys. Because the devil enjoys to see two persons chained up in a situation that can be even overwhelming, just like the lovers, but they are two different ways of manifesting um, a love connection. This is higher, this is lower on vibrations. And... The clarity comes thanks to the judgment, guys, regardless of the fact that this can be a new connection or a second chance. The decision is yours, but where is the love can be uh, a question that makes the point. So, guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful. Let us know if you resonate. Comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.